How are everyone? Thanks for tuning in to today's second video, your European outlook for today's second video. So, as always, on a Thursday, we're having a look at the weather for next week. 10 days in detail across Europe, and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say, that first video say was our 6 7 UK weather forecast. There's a take the 14 day coming, for you, coming up for you, even later on today. And we've got the latest installment of the Christmas update as well on the way today. So, please like, share, and subscribe on all day views and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Gas weather beats. Right, we're going to start off situation across Europe today. So, high pressure still dominating to the north northeast, but cold block is still just about hanging on uh, in the northeast and particularly into west of Russia. However, low pressure is deepening and developing along with a strengthening jet stream in the Atlantic, and all these areas of low pressure are going to be barreling their way in across Europe over the next few days. So, the Atlantic onslaught. So on the way back, these are the upper air temperature uh, situation today. So it's still looking very, very cold across much of northern and north east Europe. Bitterly, bitterly cold there and back into western Russia. Most parts of northern Europe still cold, actually. But milder air is moving in from Atlantic into the west. So Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal and just into the low countries starting to turn. Uh, less cold or bad. A band of heavy rain through Portugal, Spain, up to France, into the UK and clearing Ireland through the course of today, followed by lots of blustery showers in the Atlantic. And then, of course, we've got snow flurries and snow showers up across the north and the northeast Europe, particularly through Sweden and uh, you know around the um, Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, so potentially to parts of Finland as well. And uh, further wintry conditions heading on into Norway. Then a large uh, dry slot there from like eastern France into the low country, Germany, Poland, etc., looking pretty dry. But there will still be snow flurries around. And then come down into the southeastern corner of Europe and they have heavy showers and longer spells rain, possibly some thunderstorms mixed in through parts of Greece and Turkey and up into the Black Sea. And as that pushed up into cold air, of course, there's an increasing risk of snow the further north you go. The temperatures look like that, so very cold, extremely cold still across northern and uh, eastern and northeastern Europe, so particularly cold through Scandinavia and Nordic regions, through the Baltic Sea states, down into Ukraine, back to Poland as well, sub-zero day and night. But you'll notice in the west of Europe, it is turning, um, if not milder, certainly less cold. So tomorrow, Friday, we'll see the high pressure retreating a little bit further back into Russia. That, that high pressure, remember, has been cold air underneath. That's the cold block, if you like. Um, and low pressure increasingly driving in from off the Atlantic. The upper air temperatures are still very cold though, much of northern and uh, northeast Europe again, particularly through those Nordic regions back into western Russia as well, but it does look milder through uh, western parts of the Europe and those milder upper air temperatures are extending eastwards as well, but it's moving to Belgium and uh, the Netherlands and also heading on into Germany and some parts of Poland too. And as our precipitation is concerned, we're on a band of rain which will turn to sleet and snow as it bumps into the cold air, pushing through southern parts of Norway into Denmark and then down into uh, Germany and eastern parts of France as well, some quite wet weather mix in. As that comes down to the central part of the mare, that will kick off some really heavy rain, uh, potentially some thunderstorms there through Corsica, Sardinia, and back to the Valley Arikines of New York and New York by, by Beef. And behind that, the air mass is coming in from the Atlantic, so blustery showers into the UK and Ireland, which could merge with Douglas Bell's rain, and also northwestern parts of France as well. And there's more rain, you'll notice, gathering in the Atlantic. To the north and east of that, it remains cold, so snow flows continue through Sweden and back into parts of Finland. England as well. Uh, they're mainly dry for the eastern part of Europe, but there will be further showers for the Black Sea down into Turkey and parts of Greece as well. Bitterly cold air continuing in the north and the northeast. It's still looking very cold anywhere from Germany eastwards, to be honest, with temperatures struggling to get much above freezing. It is really just in the far west, so the low countries, France, Ireland, UK, and then down to Spain and Portugal, where uh, we see that the uh, temperatures are beginning to uh, stage a little bit of the recovery, are beginning to lift up. Eastern parts of France even still look quite cold though tomorrow that's saturday so again the high pressure just weakening that a little bit more and retreating a little bit further back into uh, russia as well as these areas of low pressure keep on coming off the Atlantic. notice a ridge begin to build around spain portugal as well i haven't seen much of the azores high over the past couple of weeks but that is the azores high gradually started to strengthen down towards spain and portugal which helps to bring in milder air from off the atlantic as well so the upper air temperatures are looking pretty mild by saturday 
day across most parts of Europe, particularly through um, France and into some parts of England. But generally, West of Europe was generally quite mild as well. And that uh, those mild upper air temperatures are extending into the low country towards the far west of Germany too. Still remains cold across northern Europe though. So the Nordic regions again still looking really quite cold at the moment. The yet just retreating that little bit further north. So on the eastern side of Europe, starting to bring some of those mild upper air temperatures through as well. More heavy rain streaming through the UK, Iron France into the low country, the west parts of Germany. As we go uh, through Saturday, showers again will follow along behind. Largely dry from Spain and Portugal, so that area of high pressure from the Azores starts getting going. And uh, the showers and long spells rain through the central part of Mare Bell start to ease as well. Anywhere from Germany east was again looking mostly dry uh, from Germany to the Black Sea and then we come further northwards and we'll run into further snow showers through Scandinavian Nordic regions. Uh, again, it remains very, very cold across the north of the north east of Europe, um, particularly into Russia and into like the Nordic regions. Also, the Baltic sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania are still very, very cold, as is Belarus, most parts of um, Ukraine and Poland as well. But notice Germany beginning to get a little bit less cold, possibly up to Denmark as well. But the mildest of the air it will be really quite mild, actually, is through France and uh, southern parts of England, Wales, and then down into the bed, looking generally mild through there. That is Sunday. Again, that uh, high pressure retreats a bit further back into Russia as we pick up this west southwest flow, but it's now pushing further, further eastwards into Europe. Again, we see a, a ridge from the Azores high down across Spain, Portugal, and St. Bob. They're actually getting quite warm with the upper air temperatures in the south and in the southwest, but coldest upper air temperatures retreating away as well from the north of Europe as these milder winds from the west and south was dry further and further into those outbreaks of rain um, through the UK and Ireland into the low countries and France. So more wet weather on the way there for Sunday. Rain, sleet and snow gradually in inching in towards Denmark and southern parts of Norway and Sweden. Uh, will turn readily to snow, of course, as it bumps into that cold block of air, but it's still sitting in the northeast, these uh, this plantation here through like Finland into western Russia, that's all going to be snow, of course. Not a lot of dry weather in many places, but still some showers left in the eastern part of the Mediterranean. Notice the coldness of the air retreating a little bit further east, so Germany looks uh, a, a lot less cold now, beginning to move that less cold air into western parts of Poland as well. Eastern Poland still looking very cold, and then north of that, still bitterly cold through the Baltic Sea states and the Nordic regions. A mild and out west and across most parts of southern Europe as well. Into Monday, so low pressure then is dominating across the north of West Europe, a ridge down across southern southwestern parts of Europe. Mild or warm upper air temperatures with that Azores high down across southern Europe. It's a very nice run, run of weather actually through southern parts of Spain. You fancy a little bit of pre Christmas sunshine. I wouldn't be surprised if that gets temperatures at least to the mid to upper teens Celsius, but something like Seville. Um, anyway, I'm off on a tangent. Call yourself a red is retreating. I might treat myself to a flight. Um, no, I won't. I can't say here and do my job. So, the goddess of the upper air temperature retreating further and further away in west parts of Russia as these milder winds from the Atlantic drive further in. And we've got outbreaks of rain, which will turn to snow as it bumps into cold air through some parts of Germany and into Poland as well. That could be a real survey for eastern parts of Poland, but eventually the milder air will start to turn some of that back to rain. Snow probably up across uh, Sweden and uh, Finland. Again, in some areas, might turn uh, back towards rain and sleep, but we'll stay snow further northwards. And then back into France, without breaks of rain there, more wet weather into the UK and Ireland. And then both parts of southern Europe, again, looking at mainly dry. Mainly dry for the Balkans as well. I haven't mentioned Balkans much in this uh, video, but the Balkans to the Black Sea, that's sort of that uh, looks mostly dry there as well. Notice that the cold temperatures, again, retreating a little bit further uh, away, uh, back into Russia by Monday. So even um, parts of Poland now starting to look um, a lot milder, although the far east of Poland is still cold. And Germany, again, looks mild, as does below countries. France is looking pretty mild as well. UK and Ireland looking generally mild, and most parts of the bed look mild too. Could be rather cold, both from the Balkans to the Black Sea, um, maybe with some freezing fog. We go through it on a Tuesday, that area of low pressure then transferring eastwards. Um, and you to pull in something a little bit cooler, actually, 
into the north and the west of Europe. So the upper air temperatures start to cool down a bit in the north, but it remains quite warm across the southern parts of Europe, especially into the bed. Lots of heavy rain as well through uh, the Bay of Biscay into France, into Germany, and in some parts of Poland, also affecting Austria and Hungary. Some of that might turn to snow on the leading edge as well. Uh, wet weather through uh, western Poland, and back into northern parts of Germany, into Denmark, and into the UK as well. I think that most of that will be rain. And then to the north of that, we have more snow here into the far northeast of Europe, particularly again around those Baltic Sea states and back into Western Russia. Most parts of Southern Europe, again, looking mostly dry over that air of high pressure. Pretty mild or warm in the south. Again, temperatures across some parts of Spain might be into the upper teens, possibly below 20 Celsius. Very pleasant conditions there. Further north was quite chilly. Um, air coming back towards the UK island, actually, as the mildest uh, temperature begins to get squeezed a little bit further east. So it's still very cold, really, across most parts of Scandinavia and the Nordic regions. Going through into Wednesday, well, things starting to change a little bit then. So low pressure moves on to the eastern side of Europe, and around that, possibly we start bringing back some colder air from the north again. I haven't got the upper air temperatures in a moment. High pressure in the Atlantic as well, bringing in more of a west northwesterly flow into western parts of Europe. Upper air temperatures are looking colder into the UK, Ireland, below countries and Germany. Um, pretty chilly through Scandinavia and the northeast, but of course, no weather of cold as it is right now with those upper air temperatures. And southern parts of Europe, just seeing the upper air temperature beginning to ease down a little bit. So outbreaks of rain through France and uh, also some heavy showers maybe first of all breaking out through eastern Spain and into uh, the Med. So that could turn to snow as it comes into the east of the northeast of Europe, and then perhaps wintry showers out to the north and the west, main drive the southeastern corner. Again, looking very cold across much of uh, northern, northeast of Europe, a little bit cooler through Ireland, the UK, possibly into the low countries as well, northern parts of Germany by the time we get through to the middle of the week. Generally mild or quite warm, though, across southern parts of Europe. And then that's Thursday next week, so low pressure deepening in the Norwegian Sea, then could bring so heavy snow in towards parts of central and northern uh, Norway. Meanwhile, high pressure is building in the western parts of uh, Europe, quite interestingly. And uh, the upper air temperature is so cold around, sinking southwards, really, across most parts of Europe. Not that impressively cold, but colder uh, beginning to move southwards again. Notice the Med showing quite a significant cool down um, by the second half of next week compared to the very warm upper air temperatures that we have to start the week. And uh, they're relatively mild air coming around the top of the high into western parts of Europe such as the UK and Ireland. The wet weather transferring further south to the east also heavy rain pushing through the Balkans and around the Adriatic that will turn to snow colder air, I think, starts to dig in uh, from the north as well. Heavy showers and thunderstorms through the central bowl of the Mediterranean too, although mostly dry through Spain and Portugal, could be some snow over the Pyrenees, and then north of that, so a lot of dry weather actually through central, northern, eastern parts of Europe, some snow flows around, heavy snow coming in off the north, we can see into parts of Norway, and mostly dry through the UK and Ireland, but probably quite cloudy. Cold in the north and down the eastern side as well, so that cold air extending back into the parts of Germany and France, perhaps by uh, Thursday as well. Looking pretty mild though down across those southern parts of Europe. Right, I just bring you on to uh, day 10. So this is right next week. High pressure increasingly taking over across western parts of Europe. That high pressure dominates into the middle weekend of December. So over 16th, 17th of December, Saturday, Sunday, um, dominated by high pressure there across the western part of Europe. So the coldest of the air is on the eastern side of that ridge, which is the northern east parts of Europe. Another shot of very cold north the winds setting in through western Russia and into the Baltic Sea states and going down in towards Ukraine and Black Sea as well. But most parts of Europe actually reasonably dry and that area of high pressure. Of course, the bigger note with that is whether it's going to be clear high. If it is, then we'll start to see uh, we'll start to see frost and fog begin to develop an inversion. If there's a lot of cloud, which I expect at least initially there probably will be, if there's a lot of cloud with that high pressure, then it will just be dry and cloudy and probably relatively mild through western parts of Europe. But that is all to be determined. Okay, that's your European outlook for this week. If you enjoy the forecast, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm going to be back later on with 10 to 14 days. For this week's European outlook, that's all for now. And thanks so much. Bye for now.